Hello there. So here we have our setup. We have the water cooling system right here, and we have it connected right here to this CPU, which is a Pentium 4 651. We have it on an Asus P5NE SLI with two gigabytes of uh, dual channel 800 megahertz. DDR2 RAM, a GeForce 8500 which has been reflowed about five or six times but it keeps going on and this little wireless N PCI Express card which is well to get internet here working and right now we are installing Windows 10 on the thing of all things so we can bench and overclock it and all that Cool. So we have finally managed to install Windows 10 on this thing and we are idling at the desktop right now 3.4 gig as you can see we haven't overclocked anything yet and we are at 43 degrees Celsius not bad at all for a passive cooler and well this but it's not good enough for me so I have brought out the big guns ice will pour this in there and see what happens now this is more like it 27 degrees celsius with the ice in there we are actually below ambient temperature we're right now at well if this worked we are right now uh, uh, oh, this is fucked. Well, we're actually at 30 degrees Celsius, so we are 3 degrees under ambient temperature. So let's let's start clocking. We are on our second ice tray, and well, as you can see, it's almost all melted. But why is it so? Because this little thing right now is running at well 49 degrees Celsius, but Right now it is running at freaking 4.92 gigahertz. I mean, look at this. 4.92 gigahertz. A freaking Pentium 4 651. 4.92 gigahertz. Now I'm gonna validate this. I'm gonna validate it. And holy fuck. And it, so it has come to an end. Why? Our power supply has burned up! We have burned the freaking power supply! Let's look at the specs on this. 12 volt, 15 amp. Holy fuck! We have burned our power supply. It is a cheapo power supply, of course. But we weren't using anything special. But holy fuck, we have burned our power supply. But we have validated. We have validated. The CPU Z score. So I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. So this has been our journey <laughs> through through holy fuck through the fastest CPU over overclock I have ever done. Thank you for watching.